Hello. In this video, we're going to start looking at working with different base notations. We work in base 10, which is also called decimal. Historically, this you could say this happened because we have 10 fingers, and it's easy to count 10 things with those 10 fingers. But what base 10 means is that there are 10 possible symbols I can put in each placeholder. And those 10 possible symbols represent numerical values. And in base 10, the symbols are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Well, it turns out computers work in something called base 2. which is sometimes called binary. And so base 2 means that you have two possible values that can go in each position. And in this case, it's 0, 1. Notice that base 10 has 10 values, and it's the final value is 1 less than the base. Base 2 has two values, so we have 0, 1. 1 is less than 2. We might also we could work in any base, in fact. We could work in base four. And base four would use the numbers zero, one, two, and three. One that commonly comes up is base sixteen, called hexadecimal. This is a really important one because what it does is it allows us to make easy conversions in binary, which we'll see shortly. But here's the thing with base 16. What this means is I have 16 possible values that I can put in each position. Well, we can start them easily enough. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we know the next number is 10, but 10 takes up two placeholders. It takes a 1 and a 0. So what I need to do is introduce some symbol that can represent 10 in hexadecimal. And what we end up doing is we start using letters. So A represents 10, B represents 11, C represents 12, D represents 13, E represents 14, and F represents 15. So just we can write this under. So this A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, and F is 15. So the next type of notate, notationary idea we want to make sure we understand is how do we tell what type of number we're writing? Because I might write the number 1, 0. And we look at that naturally and we think of base 10. And you'd be right to assume that if I just wrote that it would be in base 10 because if we just write a number, the general assumption is base 10 because that is what we use. But what happens if this is base 2? Because it very well could be, since it's made up of only 1s and zeros. Well, to indicate the base that a number is, we do a little subscript at the very end. And this represents the base. So this represents the base that we're working in. So that means 1, 2 is in base 2. And up here, nothing's written, so we know it's base 10. But if you wanted, you could do this, and that represents base 10. So I could write a number, something like this. I could put 3, 1, 2, which right now it's base 10, because no subscripts there. But I could do this, and it's base 4, which is a very different number than 3, 1, 2 and base 10. Okay.